Yeah, hello and welcome to this little After Effects quick tip. I'm Matthias from marmoworld.com and I show you how to deal with one particular situation in Mask Tracker Plus. And this is when we track a mask and now we want to load this mask into Mask Tracker Plus by selecting it and clicking load. You can see we get this error message. And how do we deal with this? Well, it says I could not load the tracking data from frame 260 to 261 in this case. And it says make sure the mask you've selected has at least four vertices. In our case it has one, two, three, four, five. So this is not the problem. If you have a mask with just three vertices, you cannot use Mask Tracker Plus on it. Use one with at least four. And otherwise here, and make sure that for at least one of the masks, the number of vertices doesn't change from frame 260 to frame 261. Well, here in our situation, this is exactly the case. If we take a look at frame 260, here we have frame 260, we have one, two, three, four, five vertices, and here at the next frame, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven vertices. And this is what Mask Tracker Plus doesn't like. You cannot use it really with masks where the number of vertices changes over time. How can we avoid this? Well, the easiest way to avoid this is to retrack it and do one of two things. Either you change the tracking options to do not use perspective. So if you choose either position, scale, rotation and skew or just position or scale and rotation or any of these, Mask Tracker will never introduce additional vertices. So we can track it through now. And you can see it nicely stays with five vertices and we can select our mask and click on load and the data is nicely loaded. But if you have to track perspective, another thing that you can do is let's track this again. Make sure that your mask has only straight edges. And we do this by choosing this tool and double clicking on our mask. And now you can see we have only straight edges. If we now track it with perspective, again, you can see that the number of vertices stays at five. And again, this mask can easily be loaded into Mask Tracker Plus without any issues. Now, if you say, okay, I've put a lot of effort in tracking this mask and I don't want to retrack it another time. What you can also do is only fix the problematic uh, frames. So let's go back to the mask that has this number of vertices changing. You can see here we have our problem. Now here five vertices, here seven vertices. What you can say is I only want to retrack this one problematic frame. So we do this by creating a new mask and say just at this particular frame, 260, where the problem was, I just choose another mask. And I choose a mask that has only straight edges, like this, set it to none, and just track this one frame with perspective, for example, like this. And now I select both masks and click on load. Again, we get an error message, but this time it doesn't complain about frame 260 and 61 because this is one that we fixed, but it says 264, 265. Now, if you take a look here at frames 164 and 5, you can see here again additional vertices occur and also here in the next frames here and also here. So in the next three frames, always new vertices are introduced. So therefore we need to retrack these three frames also. We can do this by first choosing here a reasonable start position for this mask and then tracking these next three problematic frames. One, two, three. And now we can try to again select both masks and load this into Mask Tracker Plus. And now it says loaded data from multiple masks. So now we've like replaced all problematic frames of this mask by not so problematic frames of this mask. And now the tracking data is nicely loaded. So in summary, if you have this issue that the number of vertices of your mask is changing, you have three options. Either you retrack your mask without using perspective, or you retrack your mask and make sure that it only has straight edges, or you only retrack the mask, not the entire mask, but only the problematic frames with another mask. Okay, that's it for this quick tip. Have fun with Mask Tracker Plus.